In the next, and later, Spider arrived to pick up some trucks. The shunter fastened the coupling and Splatter left. And even then, he realized something. He realized that the yard was busy. And that there was main that engines appeared from railways. And at the track there leads to it right near the other line. The single man was shocked, and they switched lines for splatter so that he could avoid a collision. This dimension, the driver used a reverse remote to rewind the engine. Zero one one. So it could avoid a collision and then slam on the brakes. And it was that moment that Splatter realized he could be crazy. <laughs> I could get this job easy, Wes, by making it quick. He, he, he shook and zoomed off. Till meanwhile, the map was shown to their direction molecule that they will head to a siding with box cars of TNT. With low loaders and box cars being shunted. <sighs> what a boring day. Always being pranked a lot by Splatter and Dodge. And wishing that they could stop with their silly pranks. Now, wow. This blue steamy was still in then those that blue steamer. Then that blue express engine that looks like Gordon. 
and at least, and even that Gordon, that engine that looks like him, but with the L and the R on it instead of a number four. But at least I'm doing it. Uh, Jonathan, what is it now, boxcar? Do you notice you're heading on the wrong track? Wait, I was? Could you stop for a bit? And it was that moment that Jonathan knew he could... That Josh knew he could be crazy. Huh? Wait, what was that noise? Oh god, it's splatter! It's the steam engine! And even I'm invisible and that things are going nuts. Incoming! My leg! Ah! <laughs> uh, whoops. At least I fixed it. Wah, wah, wah. Driver, would you cut that out? 